Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to solve one of the SQL question which was recently asked in interview and this is the most important interview question also. So they have given a scenario like this. So we have a customer order table and we have to find out how many new customers are there and how many repeated customers are there on each date. So they have given a table like this. So let me show you. So they have given a table like this. In this table we have all the customer information. So suppose I am a customer, so I will be having one ID. So suppose my customer ID is 100. Suppose a new customer, suppose one more customer is there, so he will assign a new customer ID. So suppose his ID is 200. So each and every customer will be having a unique customer ID. So all the customer ID details are captured in the customer ID table. Now we have an order date. In this order date, suppose I am a customer, I have ordered something, so what? on which particular date I have ordered so that information we are capturing on the order date. I have a third information order amount so how much amount I have spent that information is coming into the order amount. Now what actually I have to find out? I have to find out on 1st of January how many new customers are there and how many repeated customers are there. Let's understand this. Suppose I am a customer, my customer ID is 100. I visited on the 1st of January. I visited on the 1st of January. So in this case, first time I am visiting on the 1st of January, so I will be a new customer, right? I will be a new customer. Now su suppose I am a same customer, again I order on the 3rd of January, 3rd of January. So in this case, I will not be a new customer because I have ordered previously also. So this will be a repeated customer. So this is the question we have. So we have to find out on each date, how many new customers are there and how many repeated customers are there. What is repeated customer means? Suppose you have ordered previously, then you are new, then you are not a new customer. You are a repeated customer. So that is the thing you have to remember. So this is the question. So based on this, we have to find out on each date. On 1st of January, how many new customers are there? How many repeated customers are there? This is a very much important uh, question also from a real-time perspective. Because in a real-time also, we try to do this kind of the analysis like to understand the customer behavior, like how many new customers are coming, how many repeated customers are coming, how actually your product is growing. So this kind of the calculation generally we do. So from a real time perspective also this question is a very much important. Now let's try to solve. So, so how actually we will solve this? So what is my approach? So what actually I will do? I will try to capture the first order date. First order date for each customer. What is first order date means? Suppose I am a customer. My customer ID is 100. On first time. On 1st of January, I have done the order. So what will be my first order date? Because 1st of January, this is first time I am ordering, right? So my first order date will be the 1st of January. Now second time, I am a same customer, customer ID is 100. 2nd of January, again I have done the order. But what will be my first order date? My first order date will be a 1st of January only, right? Because first time I have ordered the order on the 1st of January only. So what actually I will do? I will try to create one column that will be a first order date. And I already have an order date and based on this I will try to compare. So in this case you can see order date and the first order date both are same. So this will be a new customer. And in this case you can see 2nd of January and the 1st of January. This both are not same. It means this is a repeated customer. Repeated customer. So if your order date and the first order date both are same means you are a new customer. If your order date and the first order date both are not same it means you are a repeated customer. So that is the approach we are going to solve. So let me write a query. So what I will do, I will create the, I will use a CT. So I will, with, I will give the name as a first visit date. I will give the name as a first visit date as, I will write a query, select customer ID. How to find the first visit date? So I will use a minimum of a order date. I will use a minimum of order date. This will be a first visit, right? When actually he visited the first time or you can see first order. First order. This is the name I will give from customer orders. And I will try to group by customer ID. So what actually I am trying to find out if I'll do select star from 
फर्स्ट विजिट डेट नाइफ आई ट्राई टू एग्जीक्यूट दिस वाट एक्चुअली आई एम डूइंग फर्स्ट आई एम ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट फॉर ऑल द कस्टमर वाट वॉज देयर फर्स्ट विजिट डेट सो यू कैन सी फॉर कस्टमर आई डी वाट वॉज देयर फर्स्ट विजिट डेट फर्स्ट ऑर्डर दिस इज हिज फर्स्ट विजिट डेट फॉर टू हंड्रेड वाट इज देयर फर्स्ट विजिट डेट ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ जनवरी ऑनली फॉर फोर हंड्रेड वाट इज देयर फर्स्ट विजिट डेट ऑन सेकंड ऑफ जनवरी सो वाट एक्चुअली आई विल डू सो आई हैव कैलकुलेटेड द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर ना वाट विल बी नेक्स्ट स्टेप आई विल ट्राई टू कंपेयर द ऑर्डर डेट एंड द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेट सो फॉर डेट आई हैव टू जॉइन so from this particular view i have i am getting to know about the first order and what is their actual order date that is available in the customer order so i will try to do a joining so what actually i am saying so what i will write select suppose a dot star and b dot first order first order from customer orders a join i am doing a inner join first visit date b on a dot customer id equal to the b dot customer id so now i'll tell you what actually i am doing so we have a customer order table right so in this table that is my first table and i am joining with the first visit date what is this first visit date this is the view i have created there actually i am finding out the first order so what actually i am doing i am taking all the information from this customer order table and b dot uh, first order that is a first order date so i am trying to join this customer order and this first visit date based on their customer id so now if i will execute this you can see now i am getting all the information i, I have a order date information also i have a first order date information also now what actually i will try to do i will try to compare if order date is equal to the first order it means he is a new customer if order date is not equal to the uh, first order means he is a repeated customer i will apply a condition case condition case when order date equal equal to the first order then one else zero and and this uh, name i will give new customer new customer i will write one more condition case when order date is not equal to the first order then one else zero and this i will write else and this will be a repeated customer customer this is the thing actually i am calculating so what actually i am writing i am writing one case statement if order date is equal to the first order date then one and this will be a new customer column if order date is not equal to the first order means it will be a repeated customer so now if i'll execute this you see suppose customer id 1 right he is a new customer so i am getting a information like he is a new customer on the 1st of january but you can see on 2nd of january he is a not a new customer he is a repeated customer because 1st of january he visited the first time on 3rd of january the same customer he is not a new customer because he already visited so he is coming into the repeated customer so like that actually i am getting to know about the new customer and the repeated customer information now what actually we can do now finally we can uh, group that a new customer and the repeated customer so what actually i will write i will write comma final s we will write aggregate query now in this aggregate query what actually we will write select sum of new customer select sum of new customer sum of repeated customer as uh, repeated and uh, we will group based on the order date order date from final 
group by by order date order date if i'll execute this if i'll execute this query you can see on second on first of january we have a three new customer on second of january we have only two new customer and one repeated customer on third of january we have a one new customer and the two repeated customer so like that actually we can calculate this